Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how you can implement the object-oriented programming principles in MATLAB. The four principles of object-oriented programming are encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, and abstraction. Let's start with encapsulation. Encapsulation, as the dictionary meaning says, enclosing something or depicting essential features. We implement the same approach in our programming with the concepts of classes and objects. The basic purpose of a class is to define an object that encapsulates data known as a property and the operation performed on that data known as method. This design allows the internal workings of the classes to be hidden from code outside of the class. To further implement the mechanism of hiding features, we have access modifiers, by which you can restrict the access of the methods and properties of one class from another class. We have three types of access modifiers, public with unrestricted access, protected access from methods in class or its subclasses, private access by class methods only. Let's see how we can implement this in MATLAB. Here we demonstrate a basic example of a class employees. The properties defined are name and base salary. As we have mentioned here, no access attributes, so they are public by default. Date of birth and address are private properties accessed only by class methods. We can also give specific type of access to particular classes like get access to read the value of a properties or set access to assign the value of the property. Here the value of the property's date of joining and department can be read from these three subclasses. Then we have two methods, constructor employee and a function get name. Let's see how we can initiate the object by calling the constructor. So we name the object as obj is equals to class name employees, then the value to our parameters name as neha and 1000 as base salary. And we have our object here. Next, we see the principle of inheritance. To implement this, we organize classes into hierarchies. For example, we have a class employees with its parameters name and base salary, known as the base class or super class. Engineer and sales are its subclasses having their own properties, products, and commissions. Inheritance expresses an is a or a has a relationship between two objects. Advantage is eliminating redundant code or reusing the code from superclass to subclass. Like subclasses inherits the public properties of its superclass. So let's implement this hierarchy in MATLAB. We have our basic class employees. Next, we define its subclasses, engineer and sales with their own properties. Less than sign is used to represent the subclass and superclass relationship. We access the superclass constructor from the base class by this syntax, where object E and object S are the output of the subclass constructors, add the rate, superclass name, and any arguments required by the respective superclass. In MATLAB, you can check the final properties of class with the command properties and class name. We observe here that the subclass engineer has all the public properties of its superclass employee. The other important principle is polymorphism. Polymorphism is a technique in object-oriented programming that allows us to get rid of long lines of code of if and else or switch case statements. There are two types of polymorphism, static and dynamic polymorphism. Static is achieved by method overloading, in which we have different methods with same name but different parameters of one same class. And dynamic polymorphism is achieved by method overriding in which we have methods with same name and parameters but in base and its derived class, that is two different classes. Let's get back to our example to see how we can implement method overriding in our class hierarchy. Here we have a function named salary, both an engineer and sales class with the same input arguments. But they are calculating salaries with different mathematical operations. So let's see how they work. We initiate our objects of each class, object E and object S. We use name and base salary from the superclass objects and provide new values for their own properties. Next, we call our function salary first for our engineer class. SE is equals to salary with our object of engineer class and 10 as a number of hours. We do the same thing for another sales class. We call the function salary with our sales object and 10 number of hours. The calculated salary is different for both as per the mathematical operation. Point to note here is while calling the function, the objects given decides as to which function from which class need to be called. The last principle we will talk about is abstraction. Abstraction can be thought of as a natural extension of encapsulation. To implement the abstraction in our example, that we are working with, we can do by only defining a function named salary in the base class employee. 
and its derived classes will have the function's implementation. Applying abstraction means that each object should only expose a high-level mechanism for using it. In MATLAB, we can simply do it by making the class as abstract class. A class is abstract class when we either declare the attribute abstract or an abstract method or property. Here you can see that the methods and properties are only defined in an abstract class, but the implementation will be done in their subclasses that supports their own specific requirements. At the end, I will leave you with a summary of why each principle is implemented. To learn more in detail, please check out the resources linked below. Thank you.